the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. Turn to the Lord in his strength, constantly seek his face. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command so that we may merit what you promised through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I consider that the sufferings of this present time are as nothing compared with the glory to be revealed for us. For creation awaits with eager expectation the revelation of the children of God. For creation was made subject to futility, not of its own accord, but because of the one who subjected it, in hope that creation itself would be set free from slavery to corruption and share in the glorious freedom of the children of God. We know that all creation is groaning in labor pains even until now. And not only that, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, we also groan within ourselves as we wait for adoption, the redemption of our bodies. For in hope we are saved. New hope that sees for itself is not hope. For who hopes for what one sees? But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait with endurance. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. The Lord has done marvels for us. The Lord has done marvels for us. When the Lord brought back the captives of Zion, we were like men dreaming. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with rejoicing. The Lord has done marvels for us. Then they said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, and we are glad indeed. The Lord has done marvels for us. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the torrents in the southern desert. Those that sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. The Lord has done marvels for us. Although they go forth weeping, carrying the seed to be sown, they shall come back rejoicing, carrying their sheaves. The Lord has done marvels for us. Alleluia, alleluia. Jesus said, What is the kingdom of God like? To what can I compare it? 
is like a mustard seed that a man took and planted in the garden. When it was fully grown, it became a large bush, and the birds of the sky dwelt in its branches. Again, he said, to what shall I compare the kingdom of God? It is like a yeast that a woman took and mixed in with three measures of wheat flour until the whole batch of dough was leavened. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. All right, so, you know, we want affirmations, right? So what uh, Sue and I were talking about this morning, this is the perfect affirmation. St. Paul says, I consider that the sufferings of this present age are as nothing compared with the glory to be revealed to us. All right, and then he talks about all right, the issues in this present age. So what I were talking about is that, yes, we see injustice and things we can't figure out in this world, uh, but, you know, the bottom line is, and I'm not the one to say this, I mean, many great saints have said it, it turns out perfectly in the end. There will never be perfect justice in this world. Never. Never, ever. Ever, never will see injustice day in and day out, and we can't figure that out. But in the end, it all turns out perfectly. Nobody gets by with anything, nobody gets more than they deserve, nobody gets less than they deserve. All right, and we're going to see that perfect justice, and we're going to be at peace. These questions about well, how are we going to be perfectly happy if some of us, our loved ones, are in hell, right? Well, because we will see that we will revel, we will rejoice in the perfect, in the in the perfect justice, and also I believe in Christ, incredible mercy. That's where it comes down to. We really need to believe that those who we most love, who we are worried about their salvation. Pray them into heaven. We can pray them into heaven. Or at least we can pray them into purgatory, right, where their eyes will then be open, right, and then, all right, they're going to uh, suffer while rejoicing, while we uh, hopefully continue, um, but we may not be part of the equation at that point in time, uh, help them through purgatory. But the fact of the matter is, it, it turns out perfectly in the end. And if it doesn't, then God is not God. And we're, it's, as St. Paul says elsewhere, we're fools. We're just absolute fools, right? So this should give us great comfort. This should give us great comfort. Um, now, the, the only thing I wanna, I wanna talk about in terms of uh, the gospel is this whole idea of kingdom of God because some people don't understand and this is why it's very important to pay close attention to scripture. So when Jesus talks about the kingdom of God here, all right, he's not talking just about the kingdom of heaven. He's talking about the kingdom of God. So he's talking about what? He's not talking about heaven. He's talking about really earth here, right? Where all right, a mustard seed is planted, it's fully plant, it's planted, it's small, when it's fully grown it becomes like a large bush and the birds of the sky dwell in its branches, right? So this is, he's talking about our existence here on earth, it's like a mustard seed that we need to have that seed planted, we need to nourish it, we need to let it grow, right? And uh, as we grow, then we should be able to be uh, like a large bush that the birds of the sky can take shelter and other people can take shelter and we can pour ourselves out for others, right? Uh, this, this endless charity that we're capable of uh, only through the grace of God. And the same thing with the yeast, right? So it's not just a, 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 a mention of heaven. He's not talking about heaven here. He's talking about uh, really the, the kingdom of God is what? The church triumphant those in heaven, the church suffering, those in purgatory, and then the church militant, right? Us in the battle between good and evil. 
Um, so that's it. This whole idea of prayer, right? Uh, we we there are things that we have control over. And those things, right, we should be asking our Lord, what do you want me to do, Lord? What do you want me to do? There's things that we don't have control over. If we try to control them, we are going to have no peace in our lives, and we're going to start doubting, right, even God's plan or his wisdom or his omnipotence or his mercy or his justice, his love, right? Uh, those things that we do not have control over, God gives us the ability to do what? Pray and fast, pray and fast, and just put it in his hands, and knowing all right, that it all comes out in the end. And I think, and I, I lose track of my homilies, especially as I travel around the country, uh, and so if I'm repeating this, uh, I, I apologize, but... Uh, I mean, to what extent do we have control over anything that the Pope does? We, none. We none. What goes on in the Vatican? We have no, what goes in Washington? Yes, we vote. We can write letters to the president. We can write letters to the Pope, right? But most of the world, and this is one of the things about the you know twenty four seven news cycle, right? We are now tuned into everything that goes on in the world. But we have control over virtually none of it. None of it. What do we have control over? How we live our lives day in and day out. Everything else we need to pray, fast about. If our Lord does give us opportunity to do something, all right, beyond our normal daily scope of things, and sometimes he does. Sometimes he does. Then we need to follow through on our Lord's asking us. But again, Grace is is really right here and who Jesus entrusts to our care day in and day out. Everything else we pray, we fast about it, and we leave it in, in God's uh, divine providence. And that is how we maintain peace, how we maintain peace in our lives. Let's now stand and ask our Father in heaven to shed his mercy on all of our needs. For the Catholic Church, the Pope, bishops, priests, deacons, religious, uh, uh, religious seminarians, uh, those discerning religious life, mothers, fathers, husbands, wives, sons, daughters, brothers, sisters, that everyone in their vocation may desire to do all things in humble obedience for the praise, honor, and glory of God and atonement and reparation for our sins and the sins of the world and for charity and chastity in our vocations we pray to the Lord the Lord hear our prayer the end of all the attacks against the sanctity of life marriage and family and for the least of Christ's brethren for anyone who's suffering any trial or tribulation whether it be physical or spiritual they may find comfort in Jesus as we reach out to them in spiritual and corporal works of mercy we pray to the Lord Lord, hear our prayer. And for the particular <coughs> intentions of this Mass, which are the intentions we hold in our hearts for all the people we said we would pray for, including those who may forget to pray for, for all the souls <coughs> in purgatory, especially those that have no one to pray for them, in particular our deceased loved ones and family members, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. And we ask for this. We ask for all good things through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, amen. Amen. Bless you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the wine, the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands. Become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, become our spiritual drink. Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Amen. 
pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted, God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory. Through Christ our Lord, amen. amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father, most holy through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, <coughs> whom you sent as our Redeemer and Savior, incarnate by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one Voice we acclaim, Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and, and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, and the glorious and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign.
forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. We will ring out our joy at your saving help and exalt in the name of our God. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs we may one day possess in truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Amen. with your spirit. May God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend, defend us in battle. battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him. Humbly pray, and do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. You reign now in splendor with Jesus our King. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave Maria. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Do you have any live plants in this place? No. <laughs> no, huh? No. Not in the house.
My pleasure, believe me. This has been my pleasure. I've never experienced it in anything like that in my life. Good. It's interesting that I started doing house masks. As soon as I got ordained, uh, because once in a while, depending on the situation in the first parish that I was in as parochial vicar, whether we had somebody, and it usually happened when we had somebody come in as a mission priest to do a parish mission or something like that. I have two or three days where I, I have no uh, daily mass. chapel, we had a chapel in the sacristy or whatever, I would ask people who were friends of mine, who were good to me, you know, who, you know, I said, how about I do a mass in your house? Of course, they always freak out. It's like, oh, I have a mass in my house. <laughs> and then I had other pre priests started doing that, you know, uh, started doing that, said, well, I never thought of that, you know, because we would just automatically just, you know, do mass in, a, in our chapel or you know, or we're not really required to do mass every day. Uh, so, uh, oop. Oh, you guys are hearing my conversation, huh? That's all right.